brand of football being played in Arizona has produced unflagging support from Wrangler fans. But tearing into a kickoff date with the Michigan Panthers means tackling the second longest winning streak in the league. John Williams is Michigan's return man, but he returns the ball to Arizona's Berlin Red. And Wrangler quarterback Alan Risher goes looking for Flowers. Jackie Flowers' 11th touchdown is tops in the league. And no matter how well laid the game plan, Risher is going astray. Risher's big gain is Arizona's loss. And Todd Kruger is forced to replace the day's first stringer. Bobby Bear is Michigan's first stringer, but the Panthers' unsung rookie also ends up singing the blues. In the second quarter, the bruised and battered Bear bows to the wit and wisdom of coach Jim Stanley, who decides a change may be needed to keep the Panthers' streak alive. Whit Taylor, the first player ever signed by Michigan, takes command and looks for another number one, Anthony Carter. The Panthers' big play specialist sets up the tying touchdown. And in the third quarter, Taylor asks Carter if he can see that one again. Carter's only two catches are good for 109 yards. And Arizona's Doug Shively is reeling from the one-two punch. Michigan has a six-round knockout artist in fullback Ken Lacey, who delivers a four-point Panther lead and forces the Wranglers to return to Richard. But the league's top scrambling quarterback can't escape the wrath of the league's top sacker, John Corker. Finally safe in the pocket, Risher finds another danger zone, and Andy Canavino stashes it away. With Taylor, who averages 40 yards per completion on the night, goes for it all. It's a game clincher to Derek Holloway, and in case you're keeping score, that's 5-0.